someone gave me an insultingly low offer, basically a slap yeah. to the face. What's up, YouTube? Jared here, GTC. So my son has decided to sell his 2021 GMC Canyon Elevation Edition to Carvana. All right, so Jacob, this is your truck, and uh, you are kind of working real hard to become kind of a young entrepreneur. You want to start a business. And so one of your ways of doing that is you are going to sell your truck Beautiful truck that it is. This is this color is awesome. You did a great review on it. Uh, 17,000 miles, and you're gonna take that money and basically start a business uh, that you've been working on. Yeah. But let's talk about the, the subject of the day, which is Carvana. And uh, we're heading there tomorrow to make this exchange. We, it's yet to be determined yeah. if, they're, if their check will cash. Well, <laughs> but walk us through the process because about four months ago, you were getting quotes that were a lot higher. This market is dropping fast. Yeah, so uh, about four months ago, like you said, we were looking at potentially selling the car and getting a Chevy Bolt because the gas prices were so bad. Um, since then, I've changed my mind. But back then, we were getting quoted on this car at upwards of $32,000 and consistently across the board it was like I believe like 29 or 30 from CarMax and then some other sites were quoting us at 31 32 but since then <clears throat> the market has downturned significantly and I'm getting quotes at lowest one I got was $24,000 for this car and was that CarMax that was Vroom I think that was Vroom so Vroom, Vroom quoted you the lowest I think so yeah okay and you guys will see a screenshot it may not have been Vroom but Someone gave me an insultingly low offer, basically a slap yeah. to the face. You have been sort of shopping this at the various like driveway.com, Vroom. Yeah, I've been taking it to anybody who's interested in making an offer. Uh, I took it to a GM dealership and they tried nickel and diming me over, uh, over a dent in the, in the aftermarket uh, step we installed which I just basically laughed at them and said, see you later. They quoted me at like 28 and some change. Yeah. But surprisingly, the people who have given us the highest offer has been Carvana. The first quote that I got on this car was $30,700. And I was pumping my fist in the air thinking, yes, great. We're gonna go sell this for $30,700. And I'm looking at my offer and there's a button that says edit car details. So I think, let me make sure I just put in everything correctly so that at the appointment, I don't have an issue with an inconsistency. So I review all my info, looks good, hit save. The page refreshes and it gives me an offer at like 29,000. So they took like $1,500 off my offer just for editing the info that was already there. Not even editing it, just viewing the info that was already there. So that was a huge issue. Then I had to call Carvana support which is um, infamously unresponsive. Customer service. Oh uh, yeah, I'm calling cause my- Sir, please calm down. What? Uh, I I'm pretty sure that's to deter people from actually getting in contact with the Carvana customer support. But luckily after a talk with one of the uh, agents that they have there, probably the only agent that they have there, they were <laughs> able to uh, reinstate my initial offer, thank goodness. So everything it seems to be squared away for our appointment tomorrow. Gotcha, so tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow is sell day. We are driving to a undisclosed location. It yeah. Looks, <laughs> it looks the, like it's in... Uh... The location is, I was expecting, I'm looking on Google Maps Street View. I'm like, okay, so this is gonna be a Carvana like shop. And it literally is just a generic car, used car dealership lot. Looks very sketchy, so we'll see what happens. So we're gonna go do this tomorrow. 3 p.m. is the, is the date, or is the time. 3 p.m. tomorrow, and we will... Uh, We'll see how this unfolds. We'll take you along for the ride. Let's hope the check uh, cashes. 2,000 years later. Okay, here we are. It is the next day and we are headed to meet the Carvana representative, I guess, and see how this goes. And we are off. All right, check in with you in a few. By sheer coincidence. So here we are at Carvana. And it's an actual 
Drop off. Location. So Jacob, you're taking the mats too? Taking the mats, taking the cover. Yeah, they're ta take the mats, they say it. Okay, fine. Take the mats. Fairly easy process. Nothing too This is, uh, I'm recording this event for posterity. Jacob's like... More moments later. That was fast. How fast was that? Suspiciously fast. Okay, so let's get this check in the bank before we, uh, before this thing doesn't cash. I just don't understand how. Say goodbye to your car. My car? There's splash marks right there too. Must have been a puddle. Yeah, I think so. This is a beautiful truck, Jacob. Say goodbye. Gotta move on. Okay, uh, let's drive it like we stole it, man, because that was a super smooth process to yeah. this point. It was weird because Jacob, they, they gave me the check. The check was already printed and it was the last thing on the paperwork. I just went through and signed maybe seven signatures. Boom. Right. They took the title. I took my piece. Um, actually, I got to make sure I got that. Hold on. Yeah, I got it. And, and then um, they said, okay, let me activate your check. So the check wasn't like a live check until he went into his little iPad and made it active. That's kind of weird. It's very um, weird. So he said, now you can go cash the check right now. I'm like, I can go cash a check, but the check was in my hands already. So I guess- The weirdest part to me is that they took like four photos of the car, said, here's your check, have a good day. That's it. They did not start it up. They, they didn't, didn't do even anything. pop the hood. No. So there's the location Obviously, right there. That is Carvana's and location. my car is gone in San Jose. They've, they've already oh, they've already moved it. My so, car is gone already. So yeah, you're tripping on the fact that they didn't even look at anything. It doesn't it even just... feel real. We were in and out in ten minutes. Yeah, because they didn't even test drive the car. I mean, we wouldn't buy a car without test driving it. You know, pumping the brakes, make sure they're good. Yeah, uh, revving it, shifting, making sure the transmission's good, popping the hood at the bare minimum. But here they are showing up, taking three pictures with their iPad and then writing us a check. I just don't understand, but you brought up a good point that they're sending it. Where are they sending it? They said they're, that this car goes directly to some reconditioning center where they recondition the car. That car needs no reconditioning, but I know what they mean. They're gonna, basically they're gonna, they're, they're gonna blow on the outside and rub it down with a towel and uh, put it online. That thing right. will probably be online in two days. So I assume they have a budget allotted for every vehicle they're purchasing. But if this check clears, two thumbs up all how do you day. Feel, how do you feel about the process? Yeah, yeah, the process, I mean, I've bought vehicles, you've bought vehicles from people, from dealerships, and I've sold vehicles, you've sold some vehicles. It has never been that simple. I don't even know how they were able to make it that simple. 12 seconds later. Well, um, we just came out of Wells Fargo, uh, put the check in, and they said 2,500 of it. This is, again, Wells Fargo, probably their policy. I don't know, maybe it's the same at other banks, but 2,500 available today. The rest should be available tomorrow. So, so far, so good. Uh, as we said, I think... Um, process was pretty smooth pretty good Jacob final thoughts um, still kind of in shock hasn't really set in yet we went from uh, money withdrawn the time between selling the car and money withdrawn was probably 20 25 minutes wow like I just did a burnout right because you took out just enough now to go buy your other car for cash yeah you're, you're buying a, have a used car. car yeah in cash so cool. all right Okay, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.